Welcome to Keeping It Real Awesome. Now, in honor of yesterday was Free Comic Book Day, and today is May 3rd, because tomorrow is May 4th, which I am wearing my Star Wars shirt to celebrate May the 4th be with you. I'm bringing you number two of my comic book collection. Now, a while back, I got some comic books, some Spider-Man, some Batman, a little mixed here and there. A while back, I was gonna make a video with the Spider-Man ones I got, but then just recently, I wanna say maybe about five weeks ago, maybe six, I got me some new Batman comic books. Now, whenever the card and comic book people come to town, you know, they always have good deals for a dollar. I snagged up all the good ones that I could find. Sadly, this year, there's a convention where usually they're here for 10 days and they're here at the mall. Those people didn't show up, so I can't add to my collection because originally I was gonna buy more comic books and make this video even longer. So, without further ado, before I get to the comic books, let's talk about yesterday was that huge, huge boxing match with Floyd Money Mayweather and Pac-Man. Now, from my understanding, I didn't watch the fight. I saw the tweets, I saw the little bit clips, I saw everything from Snapchat here and there, all the puns that basically Mayweather just danced around the ring and Pac-Man's the one who landed the most shots, but Floyd won, a lot of money went down. Honestly, you know, if I was a betting man and I bet it money, I probably still would have bet on Pac-Man anyway, but then I would have lost money. So Floyd Money May Mayweather would have gotten my cash money. You know what I'm saying? I could have been rolling in dough. But next time those guys face off, I'm definitely placing wages. Now, also, like I said, tomorrow is May 4th. Saturday, this past Saturday was free comic book day, so let's get into it. First off, Batman versus Predator 2. I got all four issues. It was a steal. I was lucky to find them all for a dollar. It's made by Dark Horse. Comics, of course, you know. It's pretty badass that, you know, I was able to get all four issues. How often do you go to a comic book bin and find all four? It's not often. Now, this other thing, I was pretty excited. I love Batman. I love DC. I love Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith, you know, is the guy who's working on Mall Rats 2. You know, Silent Bob. So when I found both of these, which I'm still looking for number one, that he co-wrote this, I was like, for a dollar? Kevin Smith? Does this guy not know who Kevin Smith is? I was like, you know, I mean, am I wrong? Do you think it'd be worth more than a dollar? Hell, I would have paid 20 bucks for these. It's Kevin Smith. Silent Bob, baby. Now, the beginning of tomorrow. Batman. Issue zero. Now, it's not often you find a comic book that has issue zero. Usually it's issue one. So when I saw issue zero, I was like, huh, okay, why not? It's a dollar. Plus, if you don't know by now, I'm a huge Batman and Spider-Man fan, so I have to have it. Another comic book that I picked up. Boom. Batman. Issue 682. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight. Now, this is pretty awesome right here. Picked it up because, you know, I saw Mr. J on it, the Joker. Then another one right her. And then this one. What can I say? Batman's awesome. Those are great comic books. Now, I'm on the hunt for all 14 of these issues. Sp Maximum Carnage, Spider-Man, Boom. Oh yeah, just look at that cover. It's so sick and twisted and sweet. Which I don't understand, you know. The Spectacular Spider-Man, 13 of part 14, but Maximum Carnage, Spider-Man, 12 of 14. Shouldn't it all read the same way? Now, I'm also a fan of Morbius, the Living Vampire. 
So I had to snag these bad boys up right her. Here's another great one. Spider-Man and the X-Man. Or X-Faction. Whichever comes first. Spider-Man versus Dracula. Aw, oh, yeah. How epic is that? When I saw that, I was like, Really? Dracula versus Spider-Man? Hell yeah. Totally picking that up. Boom. Another one. Shiny. Very shiny. I had to pick it up. Spider-Man. Another great Spider-Man issue right here. Boom. That's what I'm saying. And last but not least, one of my all-time favorite comic books. What? That's right. I got it. The 200th issue of the Spectacular Spider-Man featuring the Green Goblin. Now, what more can I say? It was a dollar. I had to get it. It's awesome. Like always, I collect pop vinyl figures, video games, Blu-rays, comic books, cards. It's what I do. That's my collection. So stay tuned because next time when I bring you part three of my comic book collection, it's going to be more sicker, more twister than I don't know what. I ain't got the words for it. So, like always, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at TheAwesomeBiz, and always keep it awesome. And one last thing, don't forget the epic rap video is coming. You wanted it, you waited for it, it's happening, but not before, would you rather? Peace!